Well, here we are again. And uh, let's see, I'm going to, I, I've been thinking about this and I really like those clouds back there and where this guy's head is here. So I need to put some of that in there. And so I'm going to use my green. I'm gonna get that up here. I did find a tri find an easel where I could put it. I could uh, put my tripod on with the camera and stuff. So next time, because otherwise I think it's going to be harder for you to maybe harder for me to get a grasp on how to paint with a, a different a different source. So. Anyhow, the sun is melting my my oils, which kind of makes this super nice because it's making it really easy to put them on. But I want to get the medium on there with my oils too, because otherwise it won't dry as fast. And there's that. So let's see. Sorry, I keep forgetting that move my camera on there. And I'm just wondering if uh, I should just show the whole time I'm painting or if I could just give you the highlights. I don't know. I guess if you can fast forward it, if it's too much for you, we'll just, you can fast forward through. And there we have that and that's pretty good. And there's this and my leaves are getting a little bit lost in there. Let's see, and then I'm going to get the rest of this background here, and there's a lot of green back there, and uh, like I say, it just gets a little more interesting later on. And so the, this, this orange is actually kind of sitting off the side of the jar, but well, that's too bad for that. And there's that edge I was talking about in one of the other videos. This this like nice little orange thing there. And then I'm going to use some of this here to make this uh, kind of a silver lid. That does not look silver. I need a little bit of black. Got hot out here. It was really cold. It looked like it was gonna rain. And now it's really hot. Okay, so there's that. See, you can tell you how hot it is. There's a degree of tandem dog sleeping. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of my white. I'm gonna bring that down here and I'm gonna make this into more of a gray color. And now kind of the, the sun is really messing up with my ability to see my paint color as well, especially on the video, which kind of sucks. But uh, let's see, there's that. And then there's some gray down here and those leaves were standing up when I first started painting, but everything is kind of wilting now because of the heat. So it's, uh, they're not as standy up as they were, but uh, I'm just gonna, Kind of darken these in a little bit because there's some shadows in that glass now that weren't necessarily there either because I started it on a different day. Let's see. Um, now, let me see. Sometimes it's just sitting back and looking at your painting too to see where you need to go next with it. I'm not quite there yet but I would get some coffee, which I already have. And then there's the jar and it, the ball jar kind of comes out a little bit more like this. And then there's 
so I'm gonna get a different brush. It probably sits in that chair. Um, let me get this wet, and maybe I won't talk as much because sometimes it's sometimes it's hard for me to see what I'm doing when I'm talking. Yeah? I have my phone. No. No thank you is what I mean. Now I think what I have to do is this particular jar has kind of a brownie yellow color to it, like right that one behind the flamingo. And so I have to figure that out, which is kind of here. And uh, so we're going to do some little brown yellow stuff here. And a lot of times it's just kind of experimenting and deciding what's going to define one form from another and, and how you can unify it, well, like life, how you define yourself. And so I'm just going to do like that. And then, see, and that will be the background color that I was talking about. And then I'm just going to take some straight up white and hopefully this works out. So if we do that and this, and there is a some highlight there. You can kind of sculpt something on there too. That's kind of nice. I kind of feel like sometimes people will stop their painting and then they'll just go back to, to painting it. Then you'll see it from, from here, you'll see a completely finished product and they don't really show you how they get to where they get. And I feel like, um, I totally understand that because it's hard. Like when you're, like when you're, you're trying to be in your intuitive process and you're, 
and you're talking, it's really difficult. Okay, so, because at some point my brain is saying I need to get the black and I need to start putting in my, um, which I need to make more watery up here, um, and, and start using it. But then my, my brain says that's a freaking way too big of a brush. So, and this one feels too small. So maybe this one, how about this one? I'm gonna try this size here for, so let's see, we're gonna try this. And I'm just gonna get a little on there and I'm gonna get it pretty watery because I don't wanna mess up my painting while I'm trying to discover how to, how to make it better. So if I look at my, my guy here, and he's about like, maybe like this. He's got a lot of leaves, so I'm gonna have to get my... Maybe a little bit more black than that. What I what I I feel like is that I I want to get an idea that there's something back there, but I don't want to give it so much information that that you are distracted by looking. So um, let's see what's going on here. There's a a little block wall back here, and there's some. Um, and so this will be kind of a nice muggy old background here, and and then up there. And it, you see up there, there's the fence. And there's the fence. I feel like I've moved. Let's see. Okay. So we'll get some of this in here. We'll give them atmosphere. And it's just funny because I just feel like I just want to put down the camera and and just paint. And and if I do that, then you then you don't know how to get from the part where it's remedial to the finished product, and that's hard. And I don't even know how I got that in there because there is no stem on that. Um, there's some flowers behind this one too, and I kind of like those, but I want to make sure that I, I I'm making all this stuff stand out from what it's supposed to. So, um, and then there's a, there's a wall here, and then another wall there, and a wall, there's like the wall there, and then there's a bunch of flowers right there. So this wall comes all the way down here. So there's that one, there's another little one behind it, there's that wall there, and so you're still mapping. I mean, this is like by no means the finished product. And it could be like a hundred, it could be 30 hours or I don't know, 10 hours or four hours of video. Um, just because I'm, I have to, to talk so much about how it's, how it's going. And that's hard. And then somebody, somebody may say, you know, do that and, uh, figure it out and then come back and, Teach us what you learned. But. All right. Okay, now what I'm going to do get this brush and I'm going to use this and we're going to see what happens with this color here. So the old Holland yellow, light yellow. And you say, Laura Wild, what are you doing? You're erasing all that you did. Well, it's too much. And, and it doesn't have to be perfect, for sure. And see, so now I'm just kind of dragging that around a little bit. So we can leave some of those lines, and I can drag it around a little bit. I'm going to take that part of the wall out, and then 
I'm gonna take this. Whoops, there it goes. I'm gonna drag it around until it looks like he's in the best place in the world. And if it is because Shane's around, well, I hope so. And you're going to be able to see some of the sky kind of through the trees. How do you make a video without over and, and not mess it up by having to talk about what you're doing? That's weird. And I think that some of the green can come in here and be kind of a reflection. And this, I don't like that hard line right there, so I'm just going to get rid of it. So we're getting there. It's kind of getting better. And then I want brown, but I don't have brown on my palette at the moment. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my red and my yellow and my black. I wish I had more space for mixing. And we're just going to use this for the the wall down here. And I'm going to take this here. And we get some white. And now I'm going to shape his head a little bit better. The thing that will really bring this painting together will be the, um, dang it, I've gone over my 15 minutes to take forever to upload this video. Well, I'm just going to keep going anyway. Um, the thing is we're really going to bring it together is his eyeball, in which case I'm going to paint that eyeball in. but. It should be pretty nice. Okay, let's see here. Okay, then I'm going to use a, this into my brush. And I'm going to put in the little flowers that are over here. And there's some bright yellow ones, so I'm going to have to get a different color paint to, 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 to put in the bright yellow, like daisy looking ones. And I'm going to work on this jar, because I feel like I've not paid enough attention to it. So I'm going to put this here like so. And there's a big white shiny thing coming through oops coming through right in through here and I like that a lot that looks really nice and so I'm gonna get that in there and I'm gonna get some white paint and I'm going to 
get that there. And I'm going to then get some of this darker here. Uh, Shadow there. Shady shadow there. It's kind of, this doesn't look like it belongs together yet. I've got to get that there. And then I'm going to take this white and that there. Yeah, and for the orange, I think I'm going to have to get another, like, maybe a, a, um, a color. Oh, yeah, cadmium yellow. Because that would, that will make the orange stand out more. And then I'll work on the eye. If any kind of magic happens, I guess I'll get back on and, and show you. But the... I mean, God, there's so many people out there that have been doing tutorials and stuff, and they've kind of got these little things that they do, and they've learned a lot, and I'm still learning a lot, so. It's one thing to stand behind someone or stand next to someone and help them learn how to paint than it is to, to help to, to explain it without any questions. Questions help me a lot, so. So if you have questions down there, you can add those to... And now we'll put the little flowers in there. And a lot of times I'll use the texture kind of motion just because it it's uh, just figuring things out. It's just doing what, what feels right. And for some reason these flowers kind of, I want them to be pushed back so I want them to not show up so much but also be there and just be really kind of nice and pretty and all that, so. And then you've got this, that there. And then. And then from here, I think I'm gonna. Gosh. And see, nice things happen like that. Like that little area right there, I kind of really like that. And then if I if I get a little bit of this in here, and that's kind of nice too. And all right, I'll be back. <laughs> 